Day 73. Hmm. So much is happening. Honestly, so much is happening. First of all, to report to those who've been following me. So my left eye with which my rash started is now, I think, pretty done. And now it all moved to my right eye. It's really, really, really interesting for me to notice how uh, as I'm clearing stuff out, um, it's it's all moving on my face and my eyes are just, it's always been like the thing for me. And it's about seeing and not wanting to see. And I've lived for so many years in a place where I didn't want to see what I couldn't handle. And now living in truth and, you know, really trying to be in the present moment and to be here for the life that's unfolding as it's unfolding. You know, my eyes are, are expressing all the, you know, from, from what her list, um, oh, I forget her, um, uh, her handle on Instagram, but what Tracy has taught me about um, the healing point. She said that, you know, any kind of a rash, it's anger, it's unexpressed feelings. And what's interesting is that the left eye is the feminine side and the right eye is the masculine and um, so to, so uh, when it started in May and June, July, I was working through a lot of um, things about like the feminine side in my family, my mom, my sister, like there was all this stuff coming up and now it's really interesting uh, that I'm working through, you know, via my husband, I'm working through like the masculine side and of course like these are the energies that are present in me but the way we until we become conscious and until we integrate these energies within we're playing them out through our external relationships so for example ultimately my relationship with my husband and all the like unexpressed anger and all the demands and all the unsatisfied uh, you know uh, needs it's my own inner man who's not stepping up yet and you know and i've been working on this for years consciously since 2020 but obviously way before that um so it's interesting it's interesting you know that it's it's now and it's now like the the top um the top is almost cleared so it's all on the bottom now anyway it's just you know body is magic this life is magic and um and also you know i had a session with one of my mentors last night with whom i work a lot on shadow and um there was something and that's why we need other people you know to to help us with our blind spots there was something that i said in regards to my marriage and she was like that's a you know that's a, there was a little shadow there and she like took me so i don't even know how it happened but there was something that happened and we weren't we're not even on, on video we're just on voice there's something that happened and my body was just flooded flooded with so much feeling i mean i was just like washed over with this like incredible feeling of like love and expansion and open-heartedness and just um it's like i've integrated that the piece that i was still kind of you know resisting a little bit it feels like i've integrated it so when i woke up this morning and started journaling so many tears so many tears are you know flowing because it's that energy, you know, that very, very, very old, old, old stuff that's coming up. I mean, I, I suspect that it was, it's be, it's so old that it's beyond, it's before I got married and, and had children. It's way before my marriage. I mean, I have really old, old stuff that I probably dragged from previous lives for sure. Um, so it's very interesting for me to see how immediately as I'm releasing this blocked energy within me, how differently 
I'm relating to my husband like immediately that that kind of like block that layer of what the wall between us is just like disintegrating disintegrating it's so so fascinating this process is just incredible and really you know what I spend a lot of my time in these last several months, particularly that I was going through this huge, you know, deep spiraling um, energy in my body is that, you know, I just spend a lot of my day in processing and which means, you know, I do, I, I, I do movement or I do writing and I, and I just like allow the feelings to come out and I just sit with them and I allow myself to cry. And it took me a really, really long time to start allowing myself to not judge myself for not being more productive, like not doing more, like obviously like everyone else, I have my to-do list, right? And especially that, you know, I have people on my team that are waiting for stuff from me so that we can advance on certain things. And there are days when I just know I cannot, I cannot produce creative expression when I'm not, when I'm processing. I just cannot. It's only once I've processed it that I can then have something to, to give. But as I am handling my own feelings, there isn't much of a creative process that's happening. It's like the step before. First processing, then the wisdom that comes with the embodiment and then that's what I can share and give to others. So it's really, really interesting to observe that process as well and the whole deconditioning that had, I've gone through where I started allowing myself to spend days reclining or spend days in just journaling or spend days in just not being able to do work or produce stuff and just allowing myself to be because arguably this is the most important work like everything comes from here this is what informs my work with my clients this is what informs my the content i put out there this is everything for me right and as i process and then apply all this in my own marriage and see the results or you know sort of try it's a trial and error then I can I can guide others through these you know through these trials in their own uh, relationships and everything like that so yeah this is where I am these days really really big big days of You know, I feel like huge change is actually huge, huge um, clearing. It doesn't feel quite as scary as it did in April, May, June, even July. I feel more light for sure. Overall, and just, you know, very, I'm just in this understanding that I'm just going through this huge, upgrades again and uh, up leveling and I just need to be here for it and allow this to take place so